Sun in Scorpio, Moon in Aquarius. The square angle that is formed between the signs of Scorpio and Aquarius has been called the aspect of sexuality. It is the same square between Saturn and Neptune that in 1963 triggered much of the sexual and cultural revolution of the 1960s. These signs combined produce an electric and eccentric personality, one that refuses to be confined to cultural or societal norms. However, these people can sometimes be modest in appearance and mannerisms, keeping their rebelliousness under wraps, while others flaunt their individuality. This personality type is not truly an intellectual per se, but they are highly intuitive and have a knack for understanding abstract concepts, especially ones which involve hidden or subtle information. The Scorpio Aquarius shares common Scorpionic traits, such as their keen perceptive abilities, as well as their innate magnetism. Although they can be particularly stubborn and committed, these people are also open to new ideas or to people from backgrounds that may differ from their own. They may also be very committed and stable for long periods of time, only to suddenly and unexpectedly change the foundations of their lives in a very dramatic way. This is due to the due to the connection that both Scorpio and Aquarius have to Uranus, planet of earthquakes. Like all water-air combinations, these people are very good at understanding psychology, and they are especially flexible and adaptable, but can become ungrounded at times. As detached as they may be, the Scorpio Aquarius in particular can get lost running away with a compelling idea or emotion. Making peace with the more mundane aspects of life will remedy this, but ultimately the change that this combination brings is refreshing and invigorating. The energy itself that this combination brings is refreshing and invigorating. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below or email me at manic.mercurian at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.